Kate is tracking Delta and the impact that the storm will have on us this weekend. Hi, Kate. Hi there, Jessica. Yeah, this storm is preparing to make landfall as we speak. In fact, here is a live picture from Lake Charles, Louisiana, where this storm is coming on shore. I've been monitoring the Lake Charles National Weather Service office chat. They just said 5.96 inches of rain already has fallen there. You can see the wind coming, the wind coming through. These winds over 100 miles per hour with gusts even higher than that. Already almost six inches of rain, and it is still coming down in droves. Let's take a look at Storm Scan 3, and you can see what they just said in their local hurricane statement is that this storm is basically making landfall now or will be over the next hour or so. We'll get an exact time once it's on shore from the National Hurricane Center, but you can see the center of the, of the storm, the eye of the storm, is just poised over the coast of Louisiana. So I suspect when we do get the official word, it will probably be somewhere in the early 6 o'clock hour that this storm officially has made landfall. We haven't heard officially just yet, though. You can see that heavy rain across western Louisiana continuing to fall through tonight, likely to get another several inches on top of the almost six that has been reported in Lake Charles already. So this is still a Category 2 hurricane. Winds are at 100 miles an hour. It is making landfall over the next hour across portions of western Louisiana and then moving northward. It will eventually weaken to a remnant low as we head through the weekend and into early next week. But unfortunately, the moisture associated with it is going to ride up this same path and will get here starting late Sunday and continuing into Monday. So some stats about Delta. Again, landfall happening this evening as we speak right around Lake Charles, Louisiana. That area is still recovering from Laura. And this storm is setting a record. It's going to be the 10th named storm that has made landfall in the United States this season. That has never happened since records have been kept. Nine was the record. We tied that. And now... The tenth landfall is poised to happen, and it's the seventh storm to make landfall along the Gulf Coast of the United States this year alone. Hannah, Beta, Laura, of course, there's Delta's track, very similar to Laura. Cristobal, Marco, and Sally have all made landfall along the Gulf Coast this season. Four storms, including Delta, in Louisiana alone. That area has been battered by the tropics so far this season. Here at home, we've got a few clouds starting to build in from the south. A few more clouds in the sky tomorrow than what we saw today, but tomorrow does look like a nice, quiet, summer-like day with temperatures back in the 70s. Right now it's 69, 68 in Mount Holly, 68 in Allentown, and 66 down in Wilmington. Overnight will drop to 57. Comfortable, but not as chilly as last night, and skies will be mainly clear. For tomorrow, you can see more clouds than sun. 76 will be the high. It is going to be a warm day, a warm breeze from the south, and higher humidity will give it a little bit of a late summer feel. But future weather shows, again, the clouds increasing through the day tomorrow. Then, as we get into Sunday, here comes the rain. Showers break out by midday. Heavier rain at night. This is about 10 o'clock Sunday night. And then throughout the day on Monday, waves of rain as the remnant moisture from Delta moves through the area. And while we won't see quite as much, of course, as they are down south, we could see up to two, possibly even three inches of rain. You can see that red shading there in parts of our area. But it has been dry. So I don't expect widespread flooding from this event. Your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast feeling like summer tomorrow. Then showers arrive Sunday, rain through the day Monday. That'll keep us cool. And then it clears out as we get into the middle of next week. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you.